Hey YouTube, it's Rob. I'm going to try and make another attempt at uh, a video on this area again and see if it uh, fails or not. Um, here, of course, this is the New Zealand right here, of course, and, and, the, and the Fiji Island. This is the other side of the planet, pretty much. Um, and uh, what I'm claiming here is that the other side of the planet, the areas actually um, describe the process that created the continents on this side of the, the planet, which is South America and North America. And you can see that this is, this is true because they simply line up inside of one another. And um, I make what my claim is is that the what we're looking at is we're looking at the processes of a vortex. Okay, some I know some people don't agree with that, but that's all right because what what I'm showing you is this is this area here is the inside process of the vortex and the result is the outside that that's left behind here. And what why I claim it's a vortex is because all all the parts are here for a vortex. Um, we have Birkeland currents right here, and um, I would attribute that these are the beginning process of the vortex. Uh, let me show you how why I say that. Okay, I've taken that uh, the area with the Birkeland currents here, and I'm going to show you that they're the beginning of the vortex because that's what Birkeland currents are they, they they create vortexes and you can see that it fits in there like that but you can also see that the Amazon River which I call a discharge pattern also fits in here as part of the the deal and the shape of the vortex as it's this is a growing vortex that's spinning the spinning can be seen in the features here, and uh, this is due to electrical and uh, electromagnetism. You could tell that this is also this is the inner part of the spinning of the vortex. You can see that the shape and also reversed. If I was to reverse this and rotate it, it would fit. This would fit within here or in here I guess so you see what I'm talking about that that ball area fits here you see you know I, I get the schneid you know snide car comments about oh people should just come to YouTube instead of looking at their textbooks well yeah you're probably right about that if they want more accuracy yeah I, w I would agree with that one look how this uh, fits around this island right here yeah because you know why nowhere in any textbooks will you find this alignment I wonder why Okay, so let's carry on. I, I want to show you a couple other things. So I just want to establish that there are facts for for why I claim this is a vortex. Um, rotation is one of them. Uh, you see that. You see what I've lined up. The shape is another. Um, and plus, it makes scientific fact uh, sense. Actually, you can see how this uh, fits into here. And then I've showed you that when they're reversed, they fit again when they're reversed. And then, um, of course, it's kind of hard to argue the shape of the United States also matching this. Um, uh, 
my last video that I deleted I was um, I was trying to explain to you that uh, this area right here might be actually round if you look at it in three dimensional and it might be what I'm claiming to be the center core of the vortex which you can kind of see would be this area if if you're looking at this in three dimensions you could see that there'd be a hollow spot in here because this is like a wave and you'll notice that the the coincidental size of things here um, you'll see that there's a match like a a fractal there's a there's a dimension what what makes this obvious is there are dimensions that are um, duplicated all over the planet I'd have to say like the the, the dimensions of Florida the dimensions of this um, even the um, the basin area of California um, there's gonna be a similarity because they're they're for they're from the same process whenever you got a single process that makes all kinds of stuff you're gonna have reoccurring dimensions they may they don't even have to look the same but the dimensions will be similar so and you can see that that's the case you know with this or maybe you can't see it it's not really my problem but I'm saying that it's there um, you can see that that number six shape right here I call it a six because that's what it looks like if you want to call it an upside down nine that makes you feel better you can see I screwed up right here here's a uh, this is a double image uh, when I was uh, putting these together you can see that that is just a misalignment sorry about that I can't catch them all I try to but anyways you can see how this uh, fits here right there I mean that's that's so obvious that they really can't be debated sure you could you could you could argue over semantics you know but but just looking at this anybody can tell that they're still related no matter how many meters off you think this is from that or whatever none of that matters really um, because you know you could just see it visually so it doesn't matter what 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 uh, how, how micro you get with the measurements I, I could care less about that I'm just showing you what what visually would be impossible unless they're related right the same planet what are the odds that the same planet would have the same features uh, on opposite sides of the planet and then not be related to one another that's incredibly it could not happen so, but I want to show you how complicated this is because when you see those alignments, I want to show you what happens when I do this with the same area. I flip it around upside down. You can see that this arm is now facing the other way. And instead of being the inside of this uh, continent, you can see that it matches the outside right like that that I don't know I don't have an I don't have a reason why that would be like that yet so your guess is as good as mine and that's what's so cool about this is that what you guys are seeing has never been seen before so any of you guys could actually figure out something about this that hasn't been figured out yet instead of wasting your time um, making snide comments why don't you get involved and try to figure out some of this stuff with me? You know what I mean? Because it, it is important. But check that out. Come on. And if, you know, if, if scientists and geologists don't want to get involved, well then, wouldn't it be cool if you figured out something that nobody else has figured out about this? Because you know that, that it's only a matter of time before um, our professional people get get wise to this and start to, to start to think about it because it is what it is you can see that those Birkeland current mountains are 
lining up with this area right here which is uh what is that Vietnam or something I think look at that pretty incredible thanks for watching I hope I hope you guys you know figure out something about this that'd be great I don't want to be the only person that sits here and, and uh, you know, solves how this whole planet came to be. I, I don't mind if other people want to help. Um, thank you for watching again.